Well, I can finally talk about this because it's been almost a year since it happened. I got heartbroken last year. It happens to all of us, even me. Some of us take it better or worse than others, but all in all, it still hurts. When you give a piece of yourself to somebody and they basically take that piece and crumble it up, step on it, unfold it, and give it back and tell you thanks, but no thanks. So I met this girl. The way I met her was through Instagram as it had, let's just say, it went down in the DMs. I was scrolling late one night, but not too late. It was like 9, 9.30, peak hours. And I clicked on the story of this girl who was looking good. I slide up with the eyes. The eyes let her know you see her. Not too much though, not too much. Just that she grabbed your attention. She replied back. That's all I needed. I don't know about any of y'all, but if a girl replies to my DM, it gets dangerous. That's all I need is a reply, I promise. So eventually we exchange numbers and start to get to know each other. Now this is during Christmas and at the time I worked at Walmart. So while trying to plan a date, the stars weren't really aligning. I could just feel her losing interest. Replies were getting slower, combos were getting drier. So I started to conjure a plan. I tell her we should FaceTime. She agrees. Now, when we FaceTimed, I knew what had to be done. I had to set the foundation. I had to hit her with the sleepy voice. Women's kryptonite is the sleepy voice, boys. I'm trying to tell you after we FaceTimed, complete 180. She was texting and calling me first. We ended up planning a date during the FaceTime, and this wasn't just any regular date. We decided on going on a breakfast date. I'm not a morning person, never will be. If I have to do something earlier than 11 a.m., Nothing, because it can't happen. I literally cannot function in the morning. I don't drink coffee. I don't even really like breakfast food. So if you're asking me why I decided on a breakfast date, because I was horny for new experiences. We went on the date and it was a great time. We ate, shared laughs. The vibes were so good. Neither of us even wanted it to end. We even extended it past our intended time and went to a park where we could park the car and overlook this pond. It felt like a scene straight from a movie, bro. So much so, we're talking. And I just stop and gaze into her eyes. And all I could think about was how much I wanted to kiss her. I move in for the kiss and she meets me halfway. Sparks were flying. From here, we went on a couple more dates. It was nothing but straight vibes with her. We were falling asleep on FaceTime together every night. We went to the same college, so after class we would spend time together. She even met my family. We were in the talking state. I didn't see any red flags, probably cause I ignored them all. And I was horny for new experiences. During the very first FaceTime call, she told me something that should have told me that she wasn't ready for a relationship. She told me she had just broken up with her ex two months prior. You can't fully heal in two months. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you say. You can't fully heal from a heartbreak in two months. You really can't even place a time on how long the healing process takes. But I ignored it. Me being excited that for once, a girl actually had taken interest in me caused me to ignore big issues that were clear signs that I was headed for imminent danger. At this point, we had already been talking for four months. It was around the point where I was ready to take the next step. It was one day where while hanging out, I asked her, hey, how do you feel about this? Like, are you ready to take this seriously, me and you? Well, maybe. Honestly, I got some thinking to do. Okay. So the next two days, her vibe is off. The replies ain't replying, the calls not calling like they should. She eventually texts me later that night saying, hey, I just need some time to think, just like two or three days. 
I'm okay, but I just need this. I give her the time she needs. On the literal third day, she calls me. She tells me that she's not ready for a relationship right now and that she just needs time to herself for a while. I'm not gonna lie. I'm in a vulnerable place, so I'm begging. Not gonna lie, begging is crazy. Not begging, but I'm pleading. I'm talking about, we could have been so good together. We could have lived this dance forever. But now, who's gonna dance with me? Please stay. But to no avail. She needed that time and left with my heart in her bag. After that, I wasn't in the right headspace for a minute. I put all my time into my channel. I'm not gonna lie. I did try to ease the pain with other women or a different woman that's singular people, but it didn't work. While searching for my heart again, I did find one thing that got me through it, Rod Wave. Rod Wave was her favorite artist. And outside of her, I found that I can relate to his pain in a lot of his songs. So Jasmine, I thank you. Her name is not Jasmine, by the way, for you detectives out there. Moral of this story, heartbreaks hurt. Take the time needed to heal. Because the saying goes, hurt people hurt people. And although you may be hurting looking for a way to bandage the wound, make sure you're not the person hurting someone else. Boozy, I've been sitting on bubbly. I've been counting money up just like one, two, three. He a copy me, Billy a wannabe. He a junior me, Billy another me. I'm not here like that bitch coming me. I don't fool, do you ain't getting nothing free? Talking small, boy, that's another fee. I ain't worried about them, but under me. My pocket fat like a sumo.